everyone. So welcome to week one of the revamped Slim Down Sunday. Um, I had attempted to start this last year around the first and it never really, um, I didn't, st I didn't stick with it. I stuck with the weight loss, but I didn't really like stick to filming and doing this every week. So I'm going to, here we go. New year, new goals. Um, this is going to kind of be geared more towards the line of a bariatric type of advice since that's the plan that I am on right now. I am looking into having the bariatric surgery, the sleeve, and so everything I talk about is going to kind of gear to war towards that. A lot of the stuff you can use even if you're not planning on having the sleeve, but most of the things that I talk about are going to be more um, targeted towards, you know, that subject matter just because that is what I am doing. Um, so for this first video, um, I did weigh in this morning and it's going to be my official start weight for the year even though it's what the 10th already the 10th of January it's going to be my start weight um, and from even from the last time I weighed I have gone down but I'm gonna consider this the starting plate place um, so in this first video I'm just gonna show you some of the tools that um, I have gathered to help me along my journey um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, the first and most important thing that I have is my Fitbit. Um, this uh, marks and tracks your step count. You can have it to um, track your sleep cycles, like when you're waking up in the night. I don't really follow that as much. I pretty much just use it for my steps, but it is life. It's not in here. It's charging. But this is probably one of the most important things. Um, I use mostly because exercise for me seems to be the hardest. Uh, the the eating is not really the problem. It's more my exercise. So this makes sure that I always get my steps in. I have it programmed for 10,000 steps a day, but you can change it as much as you want. If you get 10,000 steps every single day with no problem and you're always going above that, you can change it to be more like 12,000, 13, um, whatever makes it a goal for you. So that is one thing that I'm using. Um, for exercise, which I just finished doing a few minutes ago, I my schedule is really crazy right now and things are, I don't have a gym membership and the weather has been rainy pretty much every single day this week. Um, I've been working out so far in the house most of the time and I'm using my Wii that I have and I have some of these old um, well, they're not super old, but some of the old dance games, so like Just Dance 2, A Country One, and Just Dance 3. These, surprisingly, as a video game, I would compare to a Zumba class. I usually do about an hour, um, sometimes more if I take like a break or whatever. I do about an hour of this, and I go hardcore. I act like I am... The world's best dancer and I put everything I have into it because sometimes the songs are not super um, they're not super active with your lower body they're more just your upper arm movements because that's what you track with the Wii remote so I always try to um, not only mimic the arm motions but move around with my legs try to put my entire body into it and get the best workout possible um, another thing that I do Sometimes not as often, but uh, YouTube, just going on and searching for a cardio workout and following that. They have Zumba dance. They have all kinds of different workouts that you can follow, and they're free. They're on YouTube. So that's another super important thing. Another thing, and this is where the bariatric things comes in, I am addicted to reusable cups. If I see one and I don't have the print, I have to have one, which is just about every single time I go out. However, when you are on a bariatric program, you cannot drink out of a straw. Um, every time you sip through a straw, you're not only getting your drink, but you're getting a lot of air, and that can stretch your sleeve once you have surgery, and it puts a lot of air into your body and can cause more burping um, and things like that. So they tell you that you need to ditch the straws, which 
was really hard because every cup I have has a straw. So I got, and I got this one for Christmas. This was from Walmart. It is the Contigo brand. Um, it does have, you're not going to be able to see it, but it does have your ounces labeled on the side, part of the cup, and it has a pop top. So you're not going to be sipping out of a straw. Um, I, this is what? This is 24 ounces. You're supposed to do 64 in a day. So I roughly will have about three of these a day. Um, before I leave the house, I fill it up. Lunchtime, I fill it up. And then usually on my way home, early evening, around like four or five, I'll fill it up. Um, I have more trouble in the evening getting my water. So, you know, it's a little over 64 ounces. So if I don't get all the way through this, I'm not totally heartbroken. But roughly, you want to get about three... I get about three of these a day, and that is um, really important. And it's hard to make it last because, again, you have to sip very slowly, and it's very hard, I know for me, to sip slowly on it. I can chug that whole thing in probably a few minutes. So to have to sip on things, it's really difficult. But it's it's a learning process. I've been working on it now for a while, so I'm getting used to the sipping process. Like this is... I don't know if you can know, this is my third one, and I'm a little, uh, got about 16 ounces to go, and it's only like 8 o'clock, so I still have some time. Um, the next thing that's super important, I'm going to flip the camera down. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to share with you is what I call my bariatric Bible. Um, this is all the information that I need regarding um, the surgery, my paperwork, nutrition, um, record keeping for myself, record keeping for the doctor and the nutrition counselor. This is everything that I will need for my surgery. When uh, I got started with my doctor, they gave you um, at a seminar a list of like exercises and stretches you can do. I have not done these. They come off to me as more for people who um, aren't exercising at all or getting any kind of exercise, um, I don't feel like I get very good workout doing these, but they do include some good stretches. The first thing I keep in here in the front section is all of my paperwork for the doctor. And this is like questionnaires, things that I have to turn in um, at the appointment when I go. The next section is all information all about the surgery. So anything that is like information about what types they offer, um, they give you, they did like a slideshow. So this is like how to do your BMI, um, the chart, there's why to consider it, like anything that you could um, want to ask about the bariatric surgery, they put it all in a slideshow for you and they gave you um, it at your first meeting. Um, the next section is very similar to that one. It's a, it's the diet book. So it has everything you need from before the surgery through basically the rest of your life. And again, it was like a slideshow style, um, shows you what to eat, what not to eat, how to know like when you're hungry, um, different bad, different ways that things can go wrong. And then it talks about um, the different diets you have to do. So if I can get to, and then after the slideshow, they go through all of your fluids. Um, they have pre-surgery diets. It's basically all the information you're going to need for every step. So you've got your post-op diet, um, you have different, you have like sample menus. This was a really good resource that they included for me right now, since I am pre-surgery and I have not been scheduled a date or anything, I'm on what they call the quick picks. And so for every meal, so here would be like breakfast, you choose one in this column and two in this column, lunch, same thing. Um, and pretty much follow that for until you um, get surgery scheduled and then you go to the pre-op diet. Um, the next section is an appointment log, which this is brand new. I just finished putting this together yesterday. 
So it's going to be a log for any time I see a doctor, um, what date I did it, the time of the appointment, and why I went to the appointment. So anything from the uh, counseling appointments, the nutrition appointments, my general physician, any of that's going to go in here. This is going to be the progress log, which is going to be a weight tracker. Something that's really important is that you always weigh yourself on the same scale and you focus on that one scale. So I have a scale here at my house, which I'm going to use to track my weight and that's going to be what I count my weight loss as. Obviously, I'm going to get weighed at the doctor um, every time I go, but for me, I want to stick to one that I'm going to have long term and that's my scale at home. So that's the one I'm going to go by because every scale fluctuates. And then the next one is going to be my daily log, which I had put together this little form. And it is perfect, except that I did not know that they will accept my fitness pal logs, which is um, another one of the tools that I'm going to be using. They will accept the printouts from that. And that's a lot easier to use and to print out. Um, rather than to have to write all this stuff in every day. So that is my bariatric Bible, and it has everything that I could ever possibly want. And anytime I get something new, it goes right into here um, to keep it all together. And now I'm going to show you some of the like kitchen stuff. Got to go in the kitchen. Okay, so some of the kitchen stuff that I'm using. Um, another thing that's really important to have is a kitchen scale. Um, I got this one pretty inexpensively um, at Walmart. I think it was like $15. It will do, so it will show you your weight in for solids if you're doing like a milk or if you're doing water. I just use it for dry foods. Um, it has like a zero button, a mode button. Pretty, it's very basic. Um, and the thing and these, again, are super inexpensive. You're going to need some measuring cups. You have to measure everything. So you've got your dry foods. You've got your liquid. Um, you want to make sure that you weigh everything because that's what's going to help you get the right proportions and stay um, true to the diet. And the last thing is my Nutribullet. This is one that I got from JCPenney's, uh, I believe, a year ago on Black Friday and it came with the uh, tall glass. I think this holds 24 ounces. There's a 16 ounce. It came with the one back there which has a handle on it and the to-go lid. It came with two different blades um, and it also came with like a lid. And then this is another blender that I had. This was Hamilton Beach. And it works pretty good, but uh, I definitely like my Nutribullet better. But it gives you two different options, one on the more reasonably priced end point and then one on the more a little higher end price point. But I keep both because you never know. This one's good for travel. Um, if I go on vacation or something, um, I can take that with me pretty easily. So those are all of my kitchen tools that um, are helping me stay on track. Okay, so that's everything, um, pretty much all the basics that I'm using right now to get me started with the bariatric diet plan. Um, every week I'm probably going to go into more detail about each thing, go over recipes, um, I'm going to do my weigh-ins, my workouts, anything um, related to this journey is going to get included on this Slim Down series, bariatric edition. Um, eventually, once I have the surgery, I will follow my progress as well. Um, it'll all be included into one video, so I'm not going to do separate videos just for that. It's going to be part of my Slim Down Sunday series. So I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you in seven days. Bye.